Hey, what is up guys? My name is the Surfing Ginger. Welcome to episode number 13 of my Madden NFL Mobile gameplay. Today we're starting off with the legendary pack opening, and right away we get the rookie version of Gene Upshaw, an 86 overall offensive guard. He can actually go for a lot of coins. So um let's actually check out his stats real quick here. Um he's he's the rookie version, obviously, as I mentioned. Um Nothing too flashy, but he actually goes for a lot of coins, seeing as he goes into a legendary pack of Gene Upshaw. Uh, legendary set, actually, um, instead of pack. But yeah, I can, I can, I'm probably going to end up selling him, actually. He does make my off offensive line a bit better, but um, I think he'll go a little better if I just sold him there. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, so let's, get a, let's go ahead and go to the next pack here. Um, I did upgrade my team there, but I'm going to go ahead and sell them after, yeah, whatever. Um, so the next pack, we get James Anderson, uh, Mike Evans, nothing too solid so far. EJ Manuel, uh, Dan Williams, a uh, uh, Warren Moon milestone, number three. And for the final uh, card, we get a Barry Cofield. Nothing too special from that pack. And with the last pack, let's go ahead and see what we get. So we get a Brandon Graham, um, Darius Butler. Roberto Garza, um, Jonathan Babineau, and Kevin Williams. And the, for the final card, we get a uh, Kellen Winslow milestone. So, again, nothing too flashy, but we did get that Gene Upshaw, and I hope that he can sell him for a good amount of coins. So, right here, guys, we have um, actually game number two of my third season. I did play one game because I got bored. Um, we, did, we beat the Arizona Cardinals in that first game. Now we're playing the Philadelphia Eagles. And on first and ten, you know, Jamal Charles kind of get, kind of gets stuffed there. Um, which kind of does suck, but we're going back here on this play, and Jamal Charles does separate from the defense and is able to get into the end zone with ease. I'm gonna go. go I'm gonna go ahead and um, run some clock off the off the time here. So uh, run some time off the clock, and eventually just going for that touchdown when I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to you know blitz the put some pressure on this offense by blitzing. But you know Lashawn McCoy, he, he finds a hole and he he hits that hole pretty hard. Um, so they have second in shorts and, uh, I do sack him though. That is good. I, I end up getting that sack. Um, so on third and about five or six, um, I do, I am able to stop, bat that ball down and stop him. Um, so right away guys, we're forcing them to punt the ball to cadet, which is pretty solid because, you know, uh, it's cadet and I, he, he, he fumbled and there's no one there to recover except for the freaking punting team. And they get an easy touchdown. That is such a lame way for them to score. I'm going to need to get Cadet off my team. I, I really am. That's just, yeah, don't want him anymore. Um, but we are able to get a first down right away in my next possession. And going back, we're going to go to Wilson here. I don't know how he makes that catch, but he does. Um, that's going to take us to the end of the first quarter right away. Um, so we have a second and short, second in about two yards. And so we'll see what we can do here. We're going to go to Antonio Brown. For a great gain to the 34-yard line of the Eagles. So we're driving here. So doing some, we're threatening their uh, their defense here. And Murphy Jr. is going to catch the ball and get into the end zone. Not quite into the end zone. He does get stuffed on the one-yard line. But, you know, Jamal Charles is eventually able to power into the end zone and get this touchdown for us. So right away, guys, we're at 14-7. We get that touchdown back. Really, we should be shutting him out right now. But, you know, Cadet decided that he wanted to give them an easy touchdown, which is unfortunate. But... Uh, whatever. Um, it's 14-7, to and they have, uh, pro hopefully this is their last possession before the halftime, and I can get another, um, another, maybe another touchdown. We'll have to see, though. They get about six yards there with, um, with LaShawn McCoy, um, and, or the running back. It might have been Darren Sproles, actually. But I am able to stop them on third, third down, so I'm forcing them to punt the ball. And Cadet did not fumble this time, so we do get the ball back. And they're going to tip that ball, but Murphy Jr. is there to scoop it up. And he's going to go wide into the end zone. Wait, no, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, run some time off the clock. Because I want to make this, make sure this is the last possession before halftime. But they do call a timeout, which is unfortunate. So that was pretty much pointless. But I am able to get to the end zone very easily with uh, Jamal Charles. And we're up 21-7 to at the end of the second half, or second quarter, first half. And uh, that's going to lead us to the end of the second quarter, like I had mentioned. So we're going to go ahead and kick the ball off, and I'm on, I'm on uh, defense again. They scored zero, zero uh, offensive touchdowns, and hopefully we can keep that as a, as a recurring pattern here. We do stop them in the backfield, so on the next play, um, Foles is going to hand the ball to McCoy again. He does, he keeps fighting, and 
I don't know how I didn't tackle him, I, I, but I didn't. And you now McCoy's gonna he's gonna get another first down. So you know, uh, yeah, there's McCoy's just tearing up my defense, and he only gets about five yards there. But five yards is such is a solid gain. It really is. Um, but now I don't know why they're going dropping back, and you know that's their mistake because I picked the ball off with Janoris Jenkins. I mean, why pass the ball when they've gotten about 35 yards probably in the past three or four carries? I mean, I'm not going to object to that um, because I got an easy interception. And right here, guys, I'm pretty much just going to end up trying to run as much clock off the field, uh, time off the clock as I can. He does push me out of bounds though, which is kind of unfortunate. Kind of foils my plans, but. Um, on this, uh, second down here, I'm going to try to call a quarterback or uh, a draw here. And I do end up getting kind of stuffed. Um, but really my whole goal was to, um, end the third quarter there, which I do. So now we have third down and you know, things, things aren't looking too good. We're going to toss the ball out to Jamal Charles and actually that was second down. What am I saying? That was second down. I, I made a mistake there. Um, so it, now we have third down. And now I'm going to pass that same play call that I had called earlier. I called it again, and again, same results. I could have got, uh, gotten a touchdown there. I actually get this achievement for 200 yards in a game. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten that. I could have gotten a touchdown, guys, but again, I want this to be one of the last possessions. I want to run some time off the clock. And eventually, I do call a timeout, though. So with about 33 seconds, I'm forced to kick a field goal. But it's always nice to get some uh, field goal practicing with Robbie Gold. Um... And just pad the, the lead a bit, a bit, guys. But we do take this this victory home, 24-7. And, and yeah, guys, so that's the end of this game here. Let's go ahead and get to the next part of the video. All right, guys, to end off this video, we're going to go ahead and do a large quick sell pack. If you guys don't really know what these are, I've actually done this 40 times. And I actually have recorded one video of me doing a large quick sell. But you can get up to, I think, uh, between 1,000 and 1 million coins. Yeah, so... We're hoping to get lucky here and get the big 1 million, obviously. We're obviously hoping to get lucky in every single pack that we do, but seeing as we can get up, seeing as we can get up to 1 million coins, this is actually pretty, pretty darn exciting. All right, let's see what we can get here. Okay, let's go ahead and claim this pack and open it right away. Um, Come on, please. Come on. Ah, 5,000. Um, That's not too exciting I'm actually gonna go ahead and you know I'm gonna go ahead and get some more trophies and we're gonna open another one just because just for the heck of it so let's let's get some trophies and we'll we'll go ahead and actually actually no we're gonna open some pro packs I lied we're gonna open some pro packs and yeah pro packs I've actually been doing a lot of pro pack openings lately um let's yeah let's do some pro packs we have about 200k worth Let's do, let's get, let's get 100k worth of pro pack. Let's do that for you guys. That sounds like a fun idea. Let's do it. It's probably going to be a waste of coins, but no big deal. No big deal. Open this pack. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Reveal all. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, or not too good actually. But on to pack number two. Let's see what we can get here. Maybe pull an elite. Um, Desmond Bryant being the high, highlight of that pack. Again, nothing too good. Um, I want to get at least one elite from this pack opening. If not, I'm not going to be too upset. But, but yeah, okay. Um, let's actually go ahead and nothing good from this next one either. Um, so I'm hoping to get one elite for this 100k pack opening. Ho hopefully, um, Madden and NFL Mobile will be, will be generous to me today. Um, again, nothing, no elite there. And he's a D 82 overall. Uh, I'm not too upset with that. I'm probably going to sell him. Um, okay, open the next pack. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Um, ooh, Wes, Wes Welker. Punt returner. Okay, that's a, that's an update team. That's exciting. Um, let's go ahead and update that team there. And, and yeah, I have an 88 overall. I, I don't know. How did I get an 88 overall rated defense? I don't know. I was at 87 at some points. I don't know. Whatever. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and open this pack. Um, so we have we had one update team so far. Still no elites, though. Um, ooh, we got two golds there, though. Oh, actually not two bad people either. I can I don't think the kick returner is going to go for that much. Neither is Adam Benetieri. I'll probably just put him in one of the gold trophy packs or gold player trade-in packs and get some trophies. 
Um, so let's go ahead and open this pack. And Vance Walker is the highlight of this one. That sucks. I'm not getting anything too good so far. I still got have about 45k to go though. So hopefully we can go ahead and get some uh, good good pulls here. And again, nothing too good here, which is unfortunate. But I'm not going to object. You know, I'm getting some players I can put into some uh, player trade-ins, which is which is fine by me because I can go ahead and you know have a chance to get some good trophies. Nothing good there. See, I'm not even bothering reading out the names just because it's just going to be a waste of time if you guys are wondering why I'm not doing that. Usually I do read out the names, but this is kind of a waste of time here. Let's go ahead and reveal all here. Um, Gosh, darn it. Okay, I have about – I'm going to open three more packs because that's about the amount of coins that I have uh, enough. I, that's how – yeah, that will yeah, give us closest to the 100K. So in three more packs, hopefully I can get, pull one, one Elite. That would be awesome. Uh, we have two more chances to pull an Elite. Come on now. We can do this. We can do this. I know we can do this. Um, Come on. Let's do it. Ah, darn it. Come on. We have one more pack. Derek Carr, though, road to the playoffs. Not too bad. Um, he can probably go for a decent amount of coins, I guess. Um, okay. I'm actually going to open, open this right away. Come on. Last pack. Come on. And no elites. That is very unfortunate. Usually I have decent pack luck. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and call this a video, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for all the support. It's been absolutely awesome, to be completely honest. I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me, support-wise, and, uh, you guys are just great. The community that we have going here is, is awesome. I love talking to you all, and, you know, I think it's great to see, uh, what's going on in the, in the comment section, and just, I think everything's awesome. Um, uh, thank you guys so much, and I'm over and out, and I'll talk to you all later. See ya.